Hey everybody, this is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick video on Noah Cates being a bright spot for the ever-losing Flyers, who at this point in the season are obviously a lost cause when it comes to trying to get into the win comms. So forget game recaps. Everybody else does those. There's no point in doing one of those because it seems like you're a broken record each night that they get a lead, blow a lead, or if they don't have the lead, they never had anything going in the game, yada yada, who cares. So let's get into this video. Please continue to subscribe down below to help us go to 2.30 or more by the end of April. This is going to be a quick video on Noah Cates being one of the bright spots where I'll do videos on the others that are bright spots like Owen Tippett, like even a guy that some people don't like that has looked sharper of late and will be better on the wing. But let's start with Noah Cates. Noah Cates is a guy that puts as much oomph into defense as he does to offense, as well as if he turns the puck over, he's probably going to be the first one to get the damn puck back. The Flyers need more of that um, ante on their team, players that play at the highest amped level, which is what Noah Cates does, which is also what Bobby Brink does, that I'm going to do a video on in the next coming days, if not even tonight, but we'll see what happens there. But Noah Cates, to me, I said it in the player profile video, fantastic to a player, probably going to be a defensive first NHLer, but already is showing a lot more than I thought he would show early on in the offensive zone, O-zone as well. And his O-zone efficiency has been terrific, as well as his D-zone efficiency. It's been one of the best of the team. This team sucks when it comes to uh, overall team defense, and he's actually been one of the sharpest guys out there, as well as Travis Sanheim, the guy that's by far the Barry Ashby winner for the team this year. At a plus seven or a team that's like a minus 30, and Cates in nine games has been a plus one um, on times where his teammates haven't even played the best defense. And uh, it's either been the goalie making a save or he's been out there for a goal again. So it's actually pretty impressive. He is a plus one. So <clears throat> I think that speaks volumes too to how well he plays, but just watching him. He controls the puck really well. He's strong on the puck, especially for a guy that's only listed as 170. Uh, he's really strong on the puck. He's a guy that's going to get strong on the puck. To me, Noah Cates' defense and ability to be able to make good plays up uh, the ice profiles more as a center because he's also can win some face-offs for you. He's a guy that's a great, like I said, I think will be defensive first. NHL with, though, offensive skill that's going to play with the same effort on both ends of the puck, which is something the Flyers don't have a lot of this year. And he's a guy that I think is going to be a great bottom sixer going forward. But I do think he could definitely be a third-line center because third-line centers are guys that you want to have, preferably, in my opinion, that are great defensively and then have guys around them that are good offensively. And then if they also are very good offensively or high effort offensively like Cates, that's even a bonus. So to me, he profiles more as a center as Morgan Frost profiles more as a winger. That's what I would do. But so far, so good. I um, mean, not well, actually, now it's 10 games. In 10 games, Noah Cates has three goals and also an extra assist. So that would mean he has five points in 10 games since he did have an apple today as well. So he had an assist, the game time goal, fighting for it in front. Unfortunately, the Flyers themselves were not able to pick up the youngster Noah Cates, as well as Bobby Brink, who played a good day, as well as Owen Tippett, who played a good day. All the youngsters, honestly, look good at that, other than Ronnie Adder, who looks like he still has seasoning and growth to go, but I still think Ronnie Adder's going to be a good two-way, especially a guy that's a good third-string, uh, or third-string, third-pair offensive defenseman in the NHL, but eventually he's going to develop more into a two-way. I think he's just going to need maybe two months with the Phantoms to start next season, and then we'll be ready to go. But this has been a quick video on Noah Cates. I already did a play, player profile on him, but wanted to talk about how he is a brilliant bright spot, the great two-way wizard, a guy that should be moved to center and moved across to the damn ring already. It's obviously the right decision to make, in my own opinion, and I think in many others as well. But please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy Juice Wizard. Keep scrolling to 2.30 or more. Happy Easter, everybody. Really appreciate you guys. Love and support this far. Great job by Noah Cates this far. We'll be doing videos soon on Brink. And on Tibbet, as well as some others, about how their seasons went and what the prospectuses are for moving forward. Obviously, Cates is a guy who I think is going to make a team, make the team, excuse me, from the jump next season. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.